Hello drummers, it's Rob Litton here from drumsaword.com. Welcome to this free mini song lesson where today I'm going to show you the best parts, the most important parts to the song Barracuda by heart, drummed by Michael De Rosier or Rossier. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that name. And this song was suggested over on my Facebook page, and so if you want to make your own song suggestions, then please go over there to do so. You'll find a link to my page beneath this video, and then pinned at the top of the page, you'll find a post where I'm asking for song suggestions. Type your comments in there, then others get to vote on them, and the most popular songs, the most likes, the most time it's mentioned, um, get chosen for future lessons like this was today. And sort of, I'm continuing my promise that this December, this, this sort of Christmas month, I'm gonna be doing a lot more free lessons. So you can look forward to a lot more lessons like this kind of in the next coming weeks. And if you want to, you can also comment down in the, uh, in the comments on YouTube as well. I can't promise anything, but uh, I'm always interested, interested to hear um, song suggestions. I've got three pages of free PDF um, notation for you to download from my website. Again, you'll find a link to these pages beneath this, bit, uh, beneath this video. So I have all three pages printed out in front of you as we go through this together. It's going to make things a lot easier for you, under, for you to understand. So we've got all the main grooves. We've got all the big drum fills as well. This is definitely a lesson for the more advanced drummer. I'll try my best to sort of simplify sections as we go along, but there's not much you can simplify in a song like this. The tempo is quite fast. And then, of course, the drum parts on top of that are quite complicated. So, um, you know, forgive... You know, Give yourself a break if you're an intermediate sort of beginner drummer and you just find this way beyond you. It is pretty advanced, this stuff. So, starting with the first section, uh, the drums come in at 13 seconds and we get this drum fill. One and two and a three and. So we're coming in there on the uh of beat two. One e and a two e and a three and. And I recommend the sticking left, right, left. You could play left, right, right. It doesn't really matter. One and two, uh, one and two, uh, three and. And then we get the first of this fuddle a dump drum pattern that gets played throughout this song. You've heard me talk about it many, 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 many times before. It's just really, really popular amongst drummers. It sounds cool. It's not that complicated to play. Um, the thing is to get it to sound smooth and to get it up to speed. Simply playing right, left, right bass drum. And the bass drum needs to be part of those three notes, so four notes in total. Really, really cool drum fill. It starts on beat four. We're playing triplets, four to, to ands, and that last bass drum note must fall on the and of four. So really we're playing four ands, four ands, four ands, four ands. So the drum fill together is one and two and a three and four ands. One and two and a three and four ands. One and two. And then we're into our first drum beat. So I'm gonna skip over bar two. I've got the first five bars for you here. Let's go straight to bar three, which is the drum beat that gets repeated. The first, second bar has that crash at the beginning, so it kind of changes the pattern a little bit. But bar three there, you can see, is the repeating pattern. So both halves of the bar are the same as each other. We've got this basic pattern, one and a two, and three and a four, and one and a two, and three and a four which will get you through the song. You could know, leave out the ghost notes if you want to, but to make, take it to the next level and to play it like Michael, we need to put in those ghost notes. So we get one E and a two. The first ghost note there falls in, the, falls in between the hi-hats on one and. One E and a two. One E and a two and. Then we get a ghost note at the end of that second beat, two and a. So we just loop it then. And when you loop it, you can see the uh of two and the e of three, and the uh of four and the e of one are right next to each other. So we get one e and a two, a three e and a four, a one e and a two. I'll quieten down so you can hear the ghost notes. And this song had straight, um, John Bonham written all over it. When I hear that drum beat, I think of um, uh, the Immigrant Song. It's very, very similar in its structure. The bass drum that, that, that will pump into beat two and four is the same as the Immigrant Song. And you can definitely hear the fuddle dump and, and uh, sort of the technique that uh, Michael uses. Very, very influential, I'm sure um, uh, John Bonham was on Michael. So let's go back to the second bar briefly. It's the same as the third bar, except 
we just come down with the crash cymbal. One, two, a three. And then the uh, pattern starts. One, two, and a. Uh, and then we get the three, E, and a four. A one, E, and a two. It goes on from there. So we're just basically skipping over the and a beat one and those ghost notes and, and pushes on the bass drum. Let's go to the second line, the fourth bar. Exactly the same as the third bar, so our drum beat this continues. And then for the fifth bar, we get this repeating drum fill idea that occurs throughout the song. So whenever you hear this being played, it's, it's played the same way every time. We get the drum beat leading up to it. One E and a two and a. Then we play this. And we just leave out the bass drum on beat four for now. Open hi-hat and bass drum. Three E and a. That first snare drum note straight after the open hi-hat is written as a ghost note. So you naturally you're sort of going to make that a bit quieter. Three E and a, four E and. And the tricky bit at the end is continuing those single strokes. And a one. We get two crash cymbals. A one with two bass drums. One E and a, two E and a, sorry. Three E and a, four E and a one. Three E and a, four E and a one. Finally, Michael puts the bass drum in on beat four as well. And when you sort of speed it up, beat four is roughly where you want to close the hi-hats. You can close it at the end of the bar, but I believe Michael closes it on beat four. So that's quite tricky to get the da-da with the bass drum at the same time. So before we move on, let me now play for you all five of those bars up to speed without me yakking on over the top. Here we go. So then at 32 seconds, we get our first odd time signature section. And this is played almost exactly the same every single time. So we got a bar of 4-4, four, four, and I included that just to give the uh, bar of 5-4 context, but also because there's a snare and crash on beat 2 that gets repeated every time. So for that bar before the, the odd time signature, we get 1 E and a 2. Just move up to the snare and crash. Apart from that, the drum beat's exactly the same as our, as our basic groove. The next bar, Think of it as exactly the same drum beat, but at the end of the um, uh, drum beat, instead of playing four, uh, four and uh, play four, open hi-hat, and then again on beat five, five and a uh, one. So we're extending the bar by one beat. The drum beat feels the same up to beat four, but he extends it with the rest of the band by playing another snare and open hi-hat, five at, five e and a uh, one, and a little snare drum at the end, pushing into the next beat. So that bar of 5-4, again, if I mentioned it, it's just five beats in the bar. One E and a two, a three E and a four, and five and a one. So let me just loop those two bars slowly. One E and a two, a three E and a four, a one E and a two, a three E and a four, and five and a one E and a two, a three E and a four, a one E and a two, a three E and a four, and five and a one. And let's hear those two bars played up to speed a couple of times. So then at 52 seconds, we get our first of our really sort of odd um, placement of bass drum and snare drum. And I've included two of these sections for you. The third one is very similar to the first and second one. Um, and I'm sure when Michael plays it live, he hasn't memorized these parts, he improvises with them. So I just wanted to include the first and second one for you because you can see how different they are to each other. Uh, but really also very similar at the same time. So we start off with this, this two bar drum beat with the open hi-hats on the ands. One and two and three and four and. I'm just playing one and two and three and four and. Open hi-hat on the and each time, the bass drum pattern and snare drum, one and two and three and four. Second bar is exactly the same uh, with the open hi-hat, but we get the bass drum pattern, one and two and three and four and. Skip over beat one, and of one, and then and three on the bass drum. So there's two bars together. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. If you find this too difficult, and you probably find it already too difficult if you're, as I said, an intermediate beginner, then just leave out, uh, leave out the open hi-hat and just play it as all open notes. But again, it won't sound exactly like Michael's performance. So then bars three and four, exactly the same as one and two. Start with a crash cymbal, except the, um, the fourth bar ends with 
One and two and three, four and a one. Three and four and a one. Little drum fill and a into the next line. Now the next line is where it starts to get a bit crazy. So we can see that the um, hi-hat is now fully open, sort of stays, remains fully open. And we get for the first bar, one and two and three and four, which is very strange. No snare drum on four, it's the bass drum on beat four. Then the second bar we get one and two and three and four and. So very strange there as well. One and two and three and four and. By the way, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to throw you off as a listener, very cool. Then the third bar we sort of get back to something a bit normal. One and two and. That's snare drum on the and, the beat two, not two. One and two and three and four. And then three notes at the end of the bar going into beat one. A one. So two phase second notes followed by beat one on the very last bar. Four, one. And you can close the hi-hat on beat one, but uh, you, can, you can actually close it on the next beat where um, Michael just steps the hi-hat on beats two and four. One, two, three, four. And then you're into the next section. And he adds that bit at the end of all three parts. So slowly before I play up to speed, we get uh, both lines together. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and and four and one and two and three and four and the one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four, one, two, three, four. And let's hear those two lines up to speed. So at 1 minute 18 we get a big old drum fill and he does a lot of these one bar um, 16th note drum fills with dynamics involved. So we're getting ghost notes uh, as well as accent notes. And so this first example, if we leave out the bass drum for now, that's sort of um, a little bit more difficult to, to the reading. Just work on, work on the hand part. Starts on beat 1 with the open hi-hat, 1. And then come down to the snare drum for the and of beat 1, we get 1 and a 2 E and a 3. Really it's just and a 2 and a Three, but there's actually a ghost note in there on the E of two. One and a two E and a three. And then no ghost note on, on the E of beat three, but from the and of beat three, and a four E and a one. That old thing again. So we're coming up to the two crash symbols. He uses that throughout the song, that idea. So we get one with the bass drum now on beats two and three. One and a, sorry, it's open hi hat. One and a two E and a three and a four E and a one. One and a two and three and a four three and a one. And try not to hit your own sticks at the same time. A little bit of advice there. So let's hear that drum fill played a couple of times up to speed. So at one minute 41, we get another one of those crazy parts where the bass drum stage drum's going all over the place. The first line is exactly the same as our previous part, apart from bar four, which is slightly different. So for bar four, we get one and two and three and four and. Old fuddler dump at the end. Three and four and one. So one and two, three and four, one. Notice how it's just um, two and three and, not two and, but you, know, you could keep the and in there on the hi-hat if you wanted to. So it's last two bars. One and two and three and four and one and two, three and four, one. Then the next line, another variation. This one makes a bit more sense to me because he's playing this group of three with the bass drum and snare drum. It moves across in a cool way. Starts off with one and two and three and, before we had it on beat four, now it's the and of three. One and two and three and four and one. Beat one on the next bar, one and two and. And then it goes a bit, then it sort of settles down a bit. Three and four and one. Then that third bar is exactly the same as our previous example. One and two and three and four. One, two, three, four. So that, that, those two lines slowly again. Move this in. We get one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Four and one and two and three and four. One, two, three and four. One and two and three and four and one, two and three and four. One, two, three, four. 
and up to speed. So at 208, we get another one of those one bar drum fills, except this one's a bit more complicated with the dynamics. I've written the um, accents above the notes that aren't played as ghost notes. I just find that easier to read. I'm sort of reading where the accents are, and then all the notes in between are played as ghost notes as written. So it starts on the crash symbol this time. We get one and a two E and, and a two E and a, and a, oh sorry, and a two E and a. So, you know, bit of tricky um, movement there with the hands. If you're not used to playing ghost notes and accents, you know, you might want to make up your own drum fill for this part. And then from beat three with the bass drum, we get the high tom, could be the floor tom, I'm gonna use the high tom though. Three E and a four. Three E and a four. Snare drum accent, floor tom with the bass drum, a four. And then, and a one at the end. So one, a one, and a two, E, and a three, E, and a four, and a one. One, and a two, E, and a three, and a four, and a one. It's all messed up a little bit there, I think. But let's just play it um, a couple of times for you, up to speed properly. Here we go. So then at 2 minute 24 we've got another section that gets repeated throughout the song in the same way each time. We get a bar of 4 and then we got a bar of 3. So before we had a bar of 5, now for this section it's a bar of 3. Um, so just 3 beats in the bar. First bar is our basic groove. 1 and 2 and a 3 and a 4, a 1. 1 and 2, a 3 and a 4, a 1. And then for the bar three, we don't play the bass drum on beat one. So it's a bit tricky. You go into that bar without the bass drum, but you get the ghost note on the E. One E and two. And we're opening the hi-hats then from the and of one, the and of two, and the and of three. One E and two and three and one. So one E and two and three and one. So put the two bars together. One and two and a three E and a four. A one E and two. And three and one and two and a three and a four. A one e and two and three and one. And that idea gets repeated throughout the song. Let's see those two bars up to speed. So on to page three and at two minute forty eight we got another one of those cool drum fills. Um, same idea as before the way it starts. We get one and a two. E and, one and a two E and. Then he plays, and you could play it here instead, I'm gonna play it here, with the bass drum. Three and, then old faithful at the end, four and, four to two and. So we get one and a two E and three and four and one. One and a two E and three and four and one. And a couple of times up to speed. So then, as if he's keeping it the best till last, at 3 minute 13 we get this crazy cool drum fill. Um, the first bar I've included just so we get the drum fill in context with a drum beat. It's basically one E and a two, a three E and a four and, but instead of playing a uh at the end of the bar, it's a bass drum leading into the drum fill. Four and a. Uh. Then I recommend you use the sticking right, right, left, right, so your right hand's leading all the way through the bar. Without the bass drums falling on the, all the E's and the uhs, the snare drum pattern is one and a two and a three and four and a one and a one at the end. That old thing, we does that at the end. One and a two and a three and four and a one. What makes it insanely hard is the bass drum on the E's and the U's. One E and a two, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Those bass drums uh, if they're not falling in between the gaps that the hands are playing, they're falling with the left hand. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. It's not that difficult once you get used to playing, lining up the hands. It's just when you sort of speed it up, you have to sort of go into autopilot because it's too fast for you to line up the hands. Well, to feel it accurately, I find, you're sort of just hoping that your bass drum foot's going to keep in time.
So that was a bit sloppy. I'll play it for you properly in a minute. Let me just play it slowly one more time and then I'll play it up to speed for you. One E and a two, a three E and a four, a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. And nice and tight up to speed. So there you go, hope you've enjoyed yourself. Don't forget to download all three pages of the PDF for free from my website, you'll find the link beneath this video. And you might want to consider signing up to become an online member at my website. And what I currently offer for $97 is a full year's online access to every single full video song lesson I've ever recorded and transcribed. And that's coming up to almost 500 full song lessons up on the website already, where unlike this lesson, I teach you the song from start to finish Every single bar is included. You get the fully transcribed PDF drum chart for the entire song. And like I said, I've got almost 500 full video song lessons up on the website already. As a thank you for signing up, I give you access to hundreds more little videos teaching you many, many famous drum beats, fills, and even drum solos. I give you three eBooks I've written over the years containing hundreds more famous drum beats, fills, and solos. And then over the year of your subscription, you also gain instant online access to all the new material that I upload for my members. And I record new lessons every week unless I'm ill or on holiday. So you've got lots of cool stuff to look, uh, cool stuff to look forward to over the year of your subscription. You can tell I'm sticking to a script here. But if you've got any questions about any of that, then feel free to email me, robertdrumstheword.com. And until our next drum lesson together very soon, toodle pip and happy drumming to you.